or Christmas freeze drying. Jolly Rancher bites soft chewy candy all the way over here. We've got your standard mini candy canes. You got the regular size candy canes, still peppermint. We got the peppermint soft candy puffs. And we got another set of the candy canes mix simply because we're gonna take these ones and put them in the oven. See how much better they puff if you put it in the oven before we put them into the candy mode on the freeze dryer. We're gonna aim 175 for roughly 20 minutes uh, is what we're aiming at. We'll see how it turns out. Good times. <laughs> Here we are, got everything out of the freeze dryer. Here's the Jolly Rancher Bites. Let's see how those have changed. Jolly Rancher Bites, really no change. In fact, uh, they're still a little bit soft. These ones are nice and squishy, of course. These ones are harder, but nom nom nom, nice and chewy. These have a crunch, still chewy, but Oddly enough, I like them better a little bit more firm like that. These are not my favorites. I kind of like the uh, classic Jolly Ranchers. They just really explode with the flavor. But I do like them freeze-dried. Not crunchy. Maybe if we went longer. But for now, nope. Nom, nom, nom. Next, we have the candy canes. You can see this candy cane. Nice, slim, clean. These have puffed up to an extent, but really quite mild. This is the tray that was not heated in advance in the oven. So this tray, you can see, it did have some puffing, especially in areas along here. The tray that we put in the oven, 175 degrees, about 20 minutes, didn't really do anything either. It actually looks like it's less puffing to me than this one did. Very similar, but I believe that this one actually puffed more, which is interesting because they were both in the freeze dryer for the heating of the candy mode. This one just had additional heating. Don't understand that, but that is what it is. Now when we get to the mini candy canes, the mini candy canes do seem to have puffed up quite a bit. We can see, for example, these two right there, it puffed up a, a decent amount. These are the ones, again, that were not preheated in the oven. The ones that were preheated in the oven, you can see also puffed up to a reasonable extent, almost, uh, almost double. It was pretty small to begin with, but appears to be almost double. So the question is, what do these taste like? Let's give it a taste. You know, it tastes more like a, obviously it dissolves in your mouth a little bit faster, of course, because it is that uh, same freeze drying capabilities where it just absorbs and just dissolves quickly. It 
tastes more like the chalky nature of what you would get from one of these types of candies. So it's, it's less of the candy nature of a candy cane. So it's an interesting transition to go with the freeze drying on that. So worth it. If you're going to put your candy cane inside of, say, your hot chocolate, then uh, it might dissolve a little quicker. That might be something fun for to try. Freeze dry them like this and then throw it in your hot chocolate and see if it just dissolves quicker um, rather than having to stir it so long. All right, and the last item that we had here was these mint candies. You can see that it did puff up, not quite double in size. The thickness didn't get any bigger, but it did become a bit wider and longer. Is that much different? It's going to be the same chalk type of of a mint candy that uh, you would get with the freeze drying here now. So how much different is that? So let's try the standard first. Yep. Standard chalky dissolves really quick. Pretty straightforward. Let's try the freeze dried variant. See how that is. Okay. I can't bite that. Let me uh, try one more time and try not to break a tooth. Wow, that became very, very, very firm. It doesn't taste stale. It doesn't really dissolve any better in my mouth due to the freeze drying. It just became much harder. Whereas this one, you can probably, yeah, just break it right open with your hand. This one, I don't think I can. Nope. Oh, there we go. I did break a corner off of it that was overlapping there, but just a shard. It actually feels harder, more like a candy cane, oddly enough. So freeze drying a candy cane made it more like these, and freeze drying these made them more like a candy cane that you really can't cut into it and bite into it or break it in the same ways. It's very brittle in that regard. So quite a fascinating, interesting output of candy canes become this when you freeze dry it and this becomes that when you freeze dry it. <laughs> Who would have guessed? Well, hopefully you found all that interesting. If you did, give us a thumbs up, give us a like, and uh, enjoy your day. Thank you much. Bye. Make sure you like and subscribe.